Om Shanti, welcome back. We are doing the recording of today, that is 11th of October's Godly Blessing. If you can hear the raindrops, these are coming on to of the roof and it's sounding beautiful. But maybe it could be a little bit of disturbance for you. But still we'll go ahead and as much as you can understand, do listen to me and do listen to what Supreme Father has to say. God says, may you be a true Raj Rishi and as well as being a master of yourself also have an attitude of unlimited disinterest now master of yourself means master of your thoughts of your words and your actions but before that master of your thoughts master of your discernment your decision making and also master of your habits god says on one hand you have the kingdom and on the other hand you are a rishi that is one with unlimited disinterest on one hand you have the kingdom the whole kingdom is ours if we have a control over our thoughts if we have a complete wisdom of what our thoughts are supposed to be or what kind of thoughts are we supposed to think in certain situation around certain people then the kingdom is ours and provided they are pure thoughts divine thoughts and on the other hand you are a rishi that is one with unlimited disinterest that means we are doing things but we also have the power to detach from it immediately when we have the power to detach we don't come out as desperate we don't come out as somebody who's running after something such raj rishis cannot have any attachment for themselves for themselves to other people or for possessions this is because when you have self sovereignty your mind self sovereignty means you have control over your mind your intellect and your habits so this is because when you have self sovereignty your mind intellect and sanskars or habits are under your control and when you have disinterest you cannot have the slightest thought about the old world the old world means the things which we see through our eyes today the methods of the world the ways of the world what people wear what people eat what people have been doing all throughout whether it's the government whether it's organizations whether it's businesses whatsoever they're doing pure or impure we have no interest in that that means no interest in getting something out of it you cannot have the slightest thought about the whole world therefore to consider yourself to be a raj rishi means you understand what is a rishi right rishi is somebody who doesn't have any kind of attachment doesn't have any desires from the world but that is an extremity god here is talking about when you're living at your home you still are doing things you are making plans but at the same time you are a raj rishi means that as well as being a king you also have unlimited disinterest king of your thoughts king of your life and still disinterest now many people might think that yes this sounds like a little bit of sad kind of living where you don't have any interest in soul world you don't get attracted to things of people or valuable things in life or you're not going around for shopping and you're not enjoying the life you're not going you know it's not about that God says you can do all that but not be attached to it people they get attached to a place i wish i had been to that place again so it was so nice it's so sad over here but that place is so nice that up and down of emotion comes when we are thinking a lot god wants us to leave that go around eat whatsoever you want to do move around see places but be in a detached manner not expecting too much of happiness not having too many desires from it but enjoying yourself at the same time now this is something which is what people say only when you become a sadhu or a sant or a yogi you can do it you don't have to leave the world to do it you can be in the world and choose how much power do you want to give to things and people over you that is a choice becoming too dependent upon them is also leading to sadness and depression so it's a thin fine line you're not dependent upon them but you're still enjoying them how do you do that this is what you learn at pramakumaris and with this om shanti